<laughs> Matt, thanks. Would you know what to do if you fell through the ice? Well, the Coast Guard says no ice is safe ice, but there are things people can do to increase their chances of surviving. WSBT 22's James Fulmore is here. And James, the Coast Guard did ice rescue training tonight. Well, along with many other first responders, Rick, among them were firefighters, police officers, and members of the Sheriff's Department. After suiting up, they did a rescue drill on Lake Michigan in Michigan City. Now, once the teams found the victims, they practiced different ways of getting them out of the water. The Coast Guard says if you have to be out on the ice, let someone know where you're going and what time you expect to be back. Dress warm and don't wear cotton undergarments. It's also a good idea to carry an ice pick or something else you could use to try and pull yourself out of the ice. Luckily, the Coast Guard in Michigan City hasn't had to do any real rescues on Lake Michigan so far this winter. As for the training tonight, a petty officer with the Coast Guard says it's helpful to work with other local agencies because they learn different techniques from one another. But training is nothing new for the Coast Guard, though. We actually go out and train daily to make sure that we're uh, I mean, prepared to go out there. Uh, we know the conditions. Uh, we need to know, know what the ice is out there, so we do have to perform a rescue. If you do fall in the ice, the Coast Guard says you need to get your breathing under control within about just one minute. After that, you only have 10 minutes or so before you start losing feeling in your arms and legs. If you feel that happening, try and get a good hold on the ice as you wait for help. Now, it varies by person, but some people can lose consciousness after an hour of being in the ice. In the studio, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News.